In this tutorial, I'm going to briefly explain to you how you can do serial mediation from scratch in R. So this is disclaimer. Uh, before going to the R part, let me briefly explain to you the, the basic theory about that. So serial mediation means that there, there is more than one mediator. So for instance, as we can see from this slide, there are two mediators. One is M1, one is M2. And the indirect effect is the production of A times B times B. So basically, it's three regression coefficient. So this is what we just discussed. But in terms of regression model, actually, there are three regression models. So this, let me explain to you in a bit. Uh, let, me, let me explain to you briefly. So there are three regression. One is the N1 regress on X. So this is, you are going to get the regression coefficient of A. And then second regression is the M2 as dependent variable, but then the independent variable are N1 and X. And so you got reg two regression coefficient, yes, but the focus for us is D1. L lastly, it's the Y and the independent variable is the M2, N1, and X. In this case, you're going to get straight regression coefficient, but the focus for us is the B1, mainly regression coefficient for the M2. So if we look closely for the indirect effect in terms of regression model, actually it's A times D1 times B1. So that's the basic idea about uh, what exactly the indirect effect is in the serial mediation analysis. And now another question we would like we need to know is that how we exactly could do bootstrapping uh, to calculate the indirect effect, the 95% confidence interval. So the first step is that you, you got a data, then you draw a sample with, with replacement uh, from the data. And then and then you calculate all these three regression uh, model, yes, and then you get the indirect effect. So you 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 get one indirect effect. You draw one sample data and calculate all these three regression, and then you calculate the indirect effect, get one indirect effect. And then you do this 5,000 times. So it means that you draw 5,000 samples, and then each sample get one indirect effect. Then you can get 5,000 indirect effect, yes. This 5,000 on, on this 5,000 indirect effect, you can calculate the 95% uh, uh, confidence interval. So that's the basic theory about how the us doing serial mediation analysis. Now we're going to shift to, to R and I'm going to show you how we can actually do that. So this is the, the R document um, I prepared. So this is R markdown file. Uh, I'm going to post this file later. You can find this file in the video description. So this is the first step. Is the first step is that the first step is that we need to we need to write a regression function. So remember that we have three regression, yes. A pass, D pass, and B pass. So basically the first regression is M1 and X. Second regression is M2, M1 and X. The third regression is Y as dependent variable N2, N1 and X. So we have three regression. And all these three regression we're going to focus the A the the A, D one, and the B one, and so we calculate it in indirect fact, and we return the indirect fact. So if you only run this function once, then we got one indirect fact. But we want to do it five thousand times. Yes, that means that we need to like repeat this. So so the second step after writing this big function, we're going to do it five thousand times. How we can do that? Let me copy. I prepare some code here. So one thing is that we need to read the data. So I, I I post this data in the GitHub. So I mean, you guys can also go to. I mean, download the data if you want. This is hypothetical data. The data I, I generated, so it's not real data, but rather it's generated data. So we read this CSV file from GitHub the data. So and then. We say as a mediation data. We can also print the first sex row of this data. Yes, 
to see how it looks like. So we can run it. So, oh, we can also run this, but it, it has nothing because it, it, it at this moment it doesn't really do anything. Um, so the the book library we're going to later going to use it in the bootstrapping. So, so this is the first step: we write a function, and the second step we read the data, and so we got the data. So this is just we ignore this, but this is x, this is m1, this is m2, this is y. So we got all the data. So that's good. So we got the data. Then we're going to repeat this five thousand times. The step one, five thousand times. Yes. Okay. Let's, so now we read the data. We need to like. Actually, this is not really a step, but I carry a step. But regardless. Okay. So we're going to second step. Read the data. Then we're going to do five thousand times. Yes. Okay. So how can you do that? We're going to use the book function so let me copy paste this into our model file so so this is the function use the book function so this is from the from the library book and so this is the mediation data so we just the data we just read from the CS with from the github and um, this data and then this serial mediation function so this is the is this function we we define earlier yes here and then we're going to do it 5,000 times. And then so we say as a result. Um, also, after saying this result, we can also let it calculate the confidence interval, 95% confidence interval. So let's run it. It will take a few seconds because it, li it, it needs to run it 5,000 times. Okay, so it, it it took a while. So as you can see that, um, so this is the the five thousand bootstrap computing interval, yes. And there are two computing interval based on the normal distribution, uh, fun assumption and the uh, percentile assumption. So they're very close. So um, so in order to check that whether we are on the right track, I'm, I'm, there's different methods to check that. But I'm going to use just use the SPSS uh, to show you whether we get similar result. It will not be exactly the same because uh, this uh, bootstrapping uh, uh, sampling is a big. Uh, uh, there's some randomness there, but let's just go to the SPSS see whether we are on the right track. So this is the SPSS data. We're going to use anal analysis regression, and then we go. Uh, yeah, I just put it here. So I mean, for those who are familiar with uh, SPSS. Uh, you might feel you might find it better familiar. For those who um, are not better familiar, it, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to use this SPSS as a way to, I mean, to double check our R code. So this is the mediator. This is the Y, this X, and 5,000 times as well. Let's just click, click OK. So, so it's running. Uh, So okay, this is the result. Yes. So as you can see that, so is, this is the indirect effect, indirect effect for the x n one n two n y. So this is the indirect effect, and the confidence interval is uh fifteen seven one eighteen nine five. Yes. And remember, remember this is our from our code. So you can see that the result are very close. So that means that uh, our R code. Uh, from scratch, uh, probably is on the right track, or probably is correct. So, thank you for watching. You have any questions? Uh, feel free to comment down below. And also, if you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you.